yiminy Christmas, folks. It is um, cold outside. Let's see if I can fix you guys. There we go. Woo! What does it say? 38 degrees outside. Oh my gosh. So we are headed over to the Grand Canyon right now. It is 7.45 in the morning. Oh, oh, it's got all different tribes call the canyon home. And it's got Navajo, Apache, Yavanapi. Oh, very cool. Look how pretty this is through here. Just different like little walkouts to the canyon. We're going over here. Good morning, guys, again. Our morning at the Grand Canyon, 8 a.m. There was no line to get in. Which yesterday when we left here, there was a huge line coming in. But because we were here so early, we're gonna try to soak up as much as we can and do lunch, visit the village, and just enjoy our day. Look at this view. Wow. Huh. Wow. Another awesome view. This talks about measuring the air and the clean air is vital to life at the Grand Canyon, keeping people, wildlife, and ecosystems healthy. It is also essential to the stunning vistas that bring millions of visitors here each year. And you guys can finish reading that if you want to. I don't know how close you guys can see that or not, but how far can you see? Um, particles and gas absorb the scattered light, making it difficult to see over long distances. They dull colors and flatten the landscape. You see detracting from spectacular views of the canyon. Turn and look for the landmarks named in this photo. Can you see them all? If not, poor quality may be the reducing factor or reducing availability. So it says right here, if you look out this way, you can see this one. If you look straight out, you can see this one. If you look that way, you can see this. So. Squirrely. I don't have he's a fatty. He's a chubby little squirrely. Oh wow, sure is. Oh my goodness, little squirrel. Wow. Yeah, one slip and Wow. I wonder if I can sit there. <clears throat> oh he's balancing. <laughs> Yeah, no kidding. Uh, you <laughs> Do you see what's behind you, dude? They have a little, a nice little visitor center here with grab and go food, coffee, bike shuttle, bike tours, and then right over there are restrooms. And I think right over there, Grand Canyon Visitor Center, or that way, nice. That one might be a visitor center over there too. Not sure. Oh, there's more restrooms over there. Oh, a bookstore. Nice. Okay. 
All right, so now we're over here at the little general store near the lodge that they have here. You have a nappy, I think it's pronounced, I don't know. But yeah, they've got cold beer, gifts, clothing, straw hats, Bri. <laughs> oh, little grocery store, how cute. And a little place you can like grab food and eat it out here. Nice, I can get whatever I want. I love the mugs. Those are so pretty. Those are cute. I don't know how much they are. Let's see. These are adorable. They're like little puffin beverage jackets. That is so cute. Where's Brian? Yeah, they're so good. They got all kinds of stuff, but this is our breakfast here at the lodge. It is really good. And it's like a little buffet. It's called Yavapi. Yavapai? Yavapai Dining Hall. And it's like a little buffet. And they serve you with eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, French toast, whatever. It's really good. All right. So we made it to Sedona, and we're eating at Tortas de Fuego, and, and that margarita looks so good. Ooh. We're gonna do a little focus, focus here. Focus, focus, hocus, focus. Um, hello, and good evening. Uh, we ate at that Mexican restaurant, and it was not the greatest. So I didn't even bother sharing the food with you guys. We both got um, steak and chicken fajitas for two and we shared it and it wasn't great. So I don't recommend the Tequila de los Fuercos or something. I don't know what it's called. But anyway, yeah, I don't, uh, don't recommend it. It wasn't great. But um, we've just kind of been chilling and I've just kind of been getting stuff situated in the room and um, I'm plugging in all my things that I need to have like plugged in like my fan and chargers and all that good stuff and getting our bathroom toiletries and stuff out and now I think I'm gonna go walk around the resort a little bit and share some of the resort with you guys and then end the vlog get it up and edit it for tomorrow and um, then we'll start tomorrow's vlog tomorrow because uh, tomorrow we are going to be just kind of tooling around this area a little bit. There's a ghost town that we're gonna go to tomorrow, I think, and another little uh, shopping area that we're gonna go to tomorrow. So it should be fun, should be cool, should be interesting. But now we're gonna just kind of walk around the resort and check it out and then come back upstairs and chill. The time is different now because now we're two hours behind. So it's even worse, <laughs> but um, we do have a, a fairly pretty view um we have a parking lot view but we also have the view of the mountain over there which looks like a volcano right now um <laughs> in the video it looks like a volcano um but that is a mountain and it looks like a storm over there but we are here and this is our view there's a really pretty like rock formation mountain over there just really really pretty through here sedona is like in a little valley and it's just really cool. So yeah, let's go take a walk around the resort and see what we can find interesting. Hello. So this is like Shadow Rocks restaurant. They have lots of like food and beverages in here, places where you can sit, watch TV um chalkboard over there and snacks they've got like drinks and pastries and starbucks coffees and there's like a little restaurant back there with a buffet which is really nice and then this leads outside i am so in love with all of this cacti this is just the coolest cactus I've ever seen. And they're just huge. But isn't that a beautiful cactus? Or cacti, whatever you want to call it. 
This is just their little sitting area again with beautiful, beautiful scenery. I'm gonna try to find the swimming pool here shortly. I think you go back in to the swim from these doors. You can help yourself to water, which is really nice. Okay, so then you have Bell Rock Marketplace, which is like their little store. You can also book excursions here as well. But let's go into the little store and check it out. Ladies. You can get drinks, jewelry. Look how pretty that is. Um, what the heck is that? Looks like hashish. They have mugs and keychains and clothing, hats, cutting boards that say Arizona on there. It's cute. Wow, look at this sitting area. They've got like big, huge umbrellas, which is really nice. It's really quiet over here. They've got these little fireplaces like everywhere. Up here looks like the pool. Looks awesome. Um, Sedona Athletic Club and Euphora that way. Nice. Let's go check out this pool. Obviously, I'm going to try to be as private as I can, but this is how cool the pool looks. Awesome. And they have a bar over there, too. Really nice. And then right in there, there's a, another place to like sit, relax, watch TV, play some games, another fireplace. And this is like a 3D print or a 3D wooden thing of the geographical area that we are in, which is really, really cool. Makes me feel like I'm at a, at a Game of Thrones table. Oh, look over here. They even have like a little private like little private, I don't know, sitting area in here too. Oh, business area. Oh yeah, very nice. Nice and quiet. You can watch TV over there too. Wow, this is really cozy. And just a really nice resort. And it smells amazing in here too. music out by the pool from 7 to 10 or 7 to 9 and drinks and stuff so we may hit that up I don't know so that is it for this hotel um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did huge thumb up huge thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys tomorrow as we spend our day in Sedona <laughs>